right, here we it go. It is November. It is 2021. November. I just, man, 2020 was like three weeks ago. I can't believe it's almost end of 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and here we are, still alive, still kicking. Woo! So, all Good right. for us. Nice job. All right, we made it. All right. Um, so today, what are you thinking about? Uh, I would love to get back into doing some more, some more stuff, and I'd like to to take a you know a few different weapons and uh, talk about movement related to weapons and how the same movement produces similar effects across Kusari, Hambo, and bow staff. Uh, because you need to cement that sometimes you can be trying to do stuff with a bow and it feels weird and confusing. And there's a lot of hands, and then all of a sudden you have a little rope and oh, this is. This makes sense now. Yep. So I, th I think that's my, my plan for tonight. No, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm mean, going to think we're going to continue on, you know, looking at, you know, um, fundamental, you know, knife strategies, basically. Um, not, you know, specific, but just, oh, hey, we've been doing a lot of inside kind of dealing with those arms and controlling that arm. And tonight I think I want to get out and look at like a Kanagari, Kanagashi and say, okay, let's look at this kind of fish, this fish. <laughs> Fist flow. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's how yeah, so, yeah, that actually is, is stinky. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> so, you know, so this concept of like keeping him constantly chasing that hand, um, so it gives him like a concept to work with, like, okay, I can get enabled if I can get this, and they can constantly make them chase that hand, then they'll you know, go down and look at different variations of that. So, uh, yeah, I think I'd like to look at that. So, uh, shit, sounds like fun, man. All right, right, all right, so, um, Tonight, I want to look at uh, Kanagari Kanagashi from Takaka Yoshinyu. Uh, fist flop. We looked at this a uh, bunch of months ago, actually. Uh, Miss Heidi actually requested a special class based on Justice Kata. Um, and we're not going to go into it as depth as we did that night because I really want to keep this in regards to knife and kusari work. All right. Um, so I'm going to add them real quick. So, and the reason I want to show this is because we've been working a lot of, a lot of situations where like this knife is coming in really at the last second, you know? And he's either coming under my arm or he's kind of going upside here. Um, and then last week we kind of looked at this lunging kind of thing, okay? So I want to look at like kind of different, just kind of common scenarios. And one of the kind of say common scenarios, but also kind of responses is kind of don't know what's going to happen. So I need to be able to just to move. Right? It could be some weird, bizarre thing coming in this way, it's at the middle of this, and I gotta be able to get out of the way, take control, and move. All right, this isn't like this kind of thing. Um, and that's why I wanna look at Kenegari, because Kenegari is fist flow, it's all about moving. All right, it's all about just actually getting off and just, she comes at me, gets me to step ah, here, as he's coming in, ah, moving out to the side, just keeping this wrist stuff, just, just flowing on him the whole time. So he can't really, get his bearings back. All right, that's what this fist flow is. And it, if you ever look it up and look at it, it looks literally almost completely different every time you see it because it's a concept, it's a theory. All right, it's not a, oh, I'm gonna be here, okay, and then I gotta go to here, and then I punch, do this, and oh, that's Kenegari. That's not Kenegari, all right? Kenegari is here, I'm always having Adam out at the zenith and having this fist like just lead his body into hell. You know, he's being led by his fist. He's being led by a 185 pound fist off arm. All right, that's what we're looking at. All right, so, but to start, he's coming in, I'm moving off the side, kind of pulling this out, hitting, keeping this pull going, taking him take back. Just there, just to start. All right, make sense? All right, let's start down. We'll start working on throwing some adjustments in there. Lines and distance. Uh, Mr. Matt, can I, I don't know if you have a knife. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Uh, let's talk lines and distance for a second. So, whoa, here we are. So we're getting here. Uh, it's very easy to rotate 180 degrees and back straight up. Kind of looks like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm kind of dead. Uh, I don't really want that. What if we chose a different direction? Say I want to go over there. Let's say I want to go 90 degrees to my current position to the left. You can still stretch them out and take them there. Now we've rotated about, again, we're, we've had the offset this way, but we've moved about 90 degrees in terms of rotation to the left. Uh, if you back straight up, 
at any point during this. Even if I try to go in that direction, put it back straight up. I'm dead meat. I'm dead meat. You really have to make sure, even if we had a different lock, we need to make sure that we're, that we're getting that rotation and that that's driving part of what we're doing, or a big part of what we're doing. Questions? Cool. Yeah, there we go. So, my turn, my turn. So, I'm being very specific with this. So, come on, he has a knife. So, again, I've shown this in the past. And this is not irrelevant. It's like he's coming in, we're getting here, we're bashing down, bashing down, bashing down. Sorry, this, that's a great technique. All right, that works really well. All right? And it's tough. Here we go. All right? Kenny Gardy, the concept of this fist flow is a little different. And the reason I'm teaching it a little bit differently is because it opens up a whole realm of possibilities outside of that just one structured footstep movement. Okay, I want him to always feel, even from here, that he's always chasing this hand. He never gets on balance, even from step one. It doesn't happen. This isn't, I'm not showing it tonight, like this is here and I clamp down into this and he's stable and I'm using this to prevent the pull. Right? We've shown that before. I'm not showing that tonight. I'm showing you that as this comes to the court, already pushing him out, off, always, always, always think, never get stable, even right from the get-go, even on this first push, it's not here, here, he's stable, he got to the end, stabilized, super solid. around this and then going to get it. He's stable. You see that? As he's coming, pushing this out of the way, leading him. Always following that hand. So it's a little bit different than the things I've shown before. And the reason I'm showing it that way is because this application, this feeling, leads to a whole bunch of different endings. You're not locked into a situation where you're not here. Like, oh, this is how I know how to do it, but I'm not in the right position, I can't do it. I'm screwed up, because this is what I learned, and if my footwork's not here, I'm, I'm dead of toast. It's like, no, I just have to go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I can survive because I can keep the theory going. I can keep him chasing that here. Does that make sense? All right, go ahead. Good. So, I'm seeing my teacher again, are you? See, a lot of people do this, they're, they're doing really well until they need to turn into the multi -biaki. And then they're losing it because the person is getting stable. So what I'm seeing is this is coming in, ah, here, 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 and then right there. Damn it. It's not a good place. Maybe I'll be thrown up here, but he's now stable. The fact that I saw him moving forward let him get stable. Because what's happening is you're getting to here, getting to here. It's like, okay, now I do my multi gap right here. And you stop moving. You do it in this one stagnant spot, and then you try and move again. Problem is, he's stable now. Don't do it in one spot. Start it there, and then over here, keep it coming around. All right? Don't try to do that in multi in one, one spot. Do it in a couple. That keeps you progressing forward. It stops him from getting stable. Make sense? So it's partner. It's partner. Sure. Uh, Mate, that was actually a great shot, like great right camera. Bam. Uh, so we're talking uh, the guard flow. Uh, there is a so same step. Oh, here we go. Right. There is a concept of uh, having your flow kind of be unified uh, with your body movement. I've had a chance to speak to a couple of you about this. So Mr. Miles was making a point to train partner. He was giving us a great. Because it's not this. Okay. My hands are flowing, but my body isn't. My body catches up. My hands haven't done anything. My hands move. My body has nothing. You can already see, look at my structure. I've already, I'm, I've already kind of gone to hell. It's gonna be, it's gonna be luck. 
that gets me through this, or, or good looks, and I got one of those. So, uh, <laughs> um, what if your flow is uniform? Hey, how can I, uh, what if your flow is uniform between your hand and your body? That flow is, is pretty key, and I want you to, tr to try to see, am I doing things with my hands that my body isn't supporting, or am I doing things with my body that my hands are failing to process? Process. Yeah. Like process. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. This is looking good. This is good. So we're we're looking in this area like we got a we got a ton of room. You know, I got I can go, I can cover 25 feet in figure circles. I have that go. What if I don't have that ability? You know, I'm tight. Maybe we're already way steps. I'm already cut up against the wall or something like that. I just can't travel more that way. It's just impossible. It's much cheaper here. So remember, it's the whole. It's this is a concept. Walls right there. I can't do it. But I need this just to flow. This just can still flow over here. Can still flow forward over in that way. That book we just we kept it about a four foot square. Roughly. So on this one, we're going to alter it just a little bit because I don't have the proximity. But see, you can get off the side. But instead of collapsing down here and start proceeding out this way, he comes in here. Boom. Right? I'm going to pull him back. This is flowing. Does anybody see a close up of that hand position? It's a little different. It is different. Yeah, much you're starting to see because the multi is more unique because of the way it is. Wow. Cool. Almost more of a takeori fashion, which I can use. Oh, it's flowing. All right. Mm -hmm. Want to see it? Feel it? Yeah. Okay. So, Kyle's coming at me. Action from the back of the neck in. All right, watch out for the spurts in your eyes, and you'd be all set. You don't know what you Y'all see it? Give it a run. Okay, so now let's tie them up a smidge more in the end with this version. around as I came back in I went down to Tsutoku Yoshi with this like and that brings him straight down I have that take order right there that knife right there I do that tracheotomy that he's always wanted for Christmas you know well maybe not but I assume I'm a cheap I'm a bad gift giver <laughs> and, uh, we go from there take order's in boom I have that I can just drive that right in and no fingerprints for me okay so again, one more time. Okay. Instead of coming back and going this way, foot comes back. This one goes down. Get that right in. Please be gentle on the drop because that does amplify the, the wrist lock. It does. Keep a loose grip on that, please. Don't like really mash on that. Okay, can y'all see it? Have fun. Mate, So I'm seeing just about everybody do this. Um, everybody's coming around and they're turning right back into this and they're coming down. It's not what I'm doing. It's not this fist flow. All right. He's coming around. I'm still having that spark. I'm still having his hand flow around this arc and then down through. Well, so I'm seeing when people try to do it the other way without that is they're letting the person get stable for a second. This is coming in and if I, that he is, this is not where I want to be right now. He's way, way too strong, he's way too stable. 
for me to pull this off this frame. So he's looking around the corner. That's a symbolic. How do people naturally react? If you, if you try to pull them around their armbar, what do they do? They step with it. They don't want you to break their arm. They don't want to just lean forward and fall. They're going to move. They have to move. Uh, so make them move. And, and let me and let me just add this, but just for clarification too. As he's coming in on this, I'm not holding him like this with my body. I'm leaving this here and pulling him around that, which is a whole different feeling. Imagine this was like someone. This is the side of the wall, and somebody just had their arm, and you snuck up and just ripped it around the wall. What would they do? Whoa! That's the feeling I'm mean, going Okay? He's getting pulled around this fulcrum with this. I'm going to use my body to back up toy. It may look like I'm pushing him down this. That's not what I'm doing. This is staying here. He's backing up with this. And then I'm going. Okay, does that make sense? It's different. It looks very similar to something you've probably seen, but it's not quite the same. Right. You guys are doing actually very, very well on this. So now, the same concept, he comes in with a step. Oh, God. Oh, I have to find my way on the inside. I couldn't get this turn that we were working on before. I just thought, wow. Ah. He's here. Maybe he tries to cut back. Wow! Get <laughs> from out that way. But the same concept, that fist flop. Yeah, he's coming back. Ooh. Racing. Chasing. Back hand. Full time. Full concept. This is it. One more time. There's a lot going on here. <sighs> He comes in. Yeah. Still chasing. So it goes by me. I come to the inside. It goes by me. I go under it. All right. It goes by me. I go under it. Oh my God. Wow. Whoa. It's not as bad as it looks. But I want that concept, that fist, whoa, blowing up and around. All right? Make sense? I see the bewilderment. So you're going to want to feel it. See it again slowly. Okay. So Kyle's coming in. I'm, oh. I'm here. I got it out of the way. I wasn't able to get this position. Oh, he's barely got out of the way. But the next thing Kyle wants to do is he wants to slash. Right? So as he slashes, I move out of the way. And then I go under it. I go down. Okay? So it goes by me, then I go under it. And in that, I make a full, in those two half rotations, I make a full rotation and he goes down. Uh, uh. Everyone's fresh. Yeah, here we go. It's as fun as best it looks. We got it. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at this. I know it's a couple people just have an issue with like, how the hands work on this. If the hand is rotating around the wrist for half the time, the other half the time it's not. Where is Naomi over here? Why don't you guys all come in here? Just so you can see. You have a knife? Oh, I do. She stabs me. <laughs> I start here. Let's look at this hand specifically. On this side, palm to palm of her side. As she slashes forward, I am now underneath. And I capture it there. So my hand literally goes all the way around hers and I capture it there. There's an arm break right there. From there, now I keep it. From there on in. Okay, we all see it. So we're going to mile through this weekend. Here, keep it in. As he comes in, his slide all the way around to the other side. Then it stays. One by me. Okay. So this goes halfway around, grab it from the other side. 
is this I have to go under this right oh, cool oh cool all right and Ma's in a really nasty position right now it's not fun there's an opportunity for a lot of throws a lot of takedowns can you pretty much open my right now all right and then I just step out okay so open it up Look at where you came from. Get this on this plane here. Not just here, up here. Okay? I'll make a world of difference to them. Good. We'll give the arms and elbows and wrists, uh, we'll give them some, some respite for the man. Right, come on, let's, 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 let's all come on in. Uh, so, how's everybody feeling? Is everybody still feeling healthy? Just a little sore? Yeah. Okay. Shoulders should be stretched out nicely. Yep, if, uh, yeah, when you're really old and your shoulder can just kind of like pop out and do cool things, I think, uh, I think you'd be really pleased uh, with your time. Um, questions on what we looked at today? Anyone, anyone got a thought for us? Any questions? Okay. Um, good stuff. And, uh, and good movement tonight, everybody. Mr. Wayne. Yeah, I mean, the, the theory, the thing that we're going on tonight really had nothing to do with absolute footwork and placement. And that's why I wanted to go over it because I don't know how this night fight's gonna go. I don't know how it's gonna start. You know, unless he's doing this perfect stab into my gut and I can move over and get into this, you know, technical Kenegari as we look at sometimes in this position, this position, I got this hold. Um, well, if that's all I got and he doesn't attack me like that, shit, I don't have anything else. I need the attack to come from that line and that angle and uh. But if I understand that, hey man, if I keep his hand moving constantly, and they're constantly chasing their hand, that really helps prevent a second stab. And if I can have them constantly change their hand, and, they're con and I can turn them and stuff like that, I can drop them pretty well. And by the time they drop and hit their head, I can be 25, 30 feet away, okay? And so you can do that from an angle because you understand that's what I need to do from a emotional aspect, not a physical structured aspect. That's kind of what I'm doing. Does that make sense to everybody? All right, and that's really what this Kanagari, you know, from Fist Flow from Takagi Yoshin is. And like I said, if you look this up, you'll almost, you'll watch something like that. They're not even doing the same technique. It's because they're not doing, they're doing the, this concept, this chasing this hand concept. And not necessarily the, oh, you go here and you go here, you go here. It's not like that. It's not like that for Kata. Okay? You guys did awesome. You guys really, really did awesome. Did good. A lot of good body control. I mean, the, the adjustments we had to make, I felt, for the complexity that we're asking you to do, were pretty subtle, in all honesty. Uh, so you should be proud of yourself. You guys are very well. You guys are, how can I put this? I, so I was thinking about this today. I've trained with a lot of other people in this art. 
over time, seeing them from different schools and stuff like that. And I can tell you that you may have some days you're down on yourself. Like, man, I'm not, yeah, that's not that great. Not having a bad time. You're comparing yourself to a crazy high level. We go at, we train here pretty hard on each other. We dump you a lot. You know, we get in your face and put you under pressure quite a bit. You know, and we're asking you also to look at the emotional context of things and the feeling of the fight, as opposed to just show me this, show me this. You know, do, do perfect cut down. We're not asking, we're asking you to be very hard and very hard on you. Um, so I, I've been to other dojos where I look, I go in and I look at people who are, you know, second, third dons, and I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, my red belt could have wiped your ass. There's no doubt about it. You know? Um, so when you get those days you potentially may be down, kind of feel like, ah, so I'm not doing too well. You're, you're not doing too well for a Navy SEAL. <laughs> Right, okay. But you gotta remember, nobody else is that. Everyone else is, you know, playing, playing cowboys and Indians, playing, playing army on the, on the playground. Okay, so be, be nice to yourself when it comes to that. Anything else, Mr. Lillard? Sure. Okay, nice job. See you Saturday, guys. <laughs> I'm on. Huh? We'll get some free response in on Saturday. Uh, this is a heads up. So. Well, I mean, you paid for it. So yeah. Uh,